Hello guys, it has been a minute since I freaking vlogged on this channel. I don't know, I just felt like vlogging, so I guess I'm gonna vlog today. There's not much going on today, it's already like, I think it's already like almost 3 o'clock, so we're just hanging out. I'm in the office right now, um, I was fixing my hair, but... I actually did my makeup today for work and I used the Conspiracy palette. Here's my eyeshadow for today. I got a lot of compliments on it at work. But I quickly want to update you guys on how Diesel's doing and everything Diesel related. So as you guys know or if you haven't seen my previous vlogs and if you're new to my channel, it's a uh, subscribe um but riley and i got a dog in september september 18th and we adopted him he's eight years old he has anxiety so anytime we leave the apartment he's barking the whole time we're gone so it wasn't really an issue until we started getting complaints about him so we got a few complaints which is kind of it's frustrating because what are we supposed to do we i work he goes to school and he works so it's like we can't just not go to work or school but yeah it's it's frustrating because we don't know what to do but i bought him a it's not a shock collar it's a vibrating collar from amazon and it got such good reviews but it just does not work on him which unfortunately sucks um because i really don't want to get kicked out obviously and i really don't want to give him away like giving him away is not an option we're not doing that our downstairs neighbor did offer to watch him whenever we're gone which is really nice and our next door neighbor also um offered to walk him when we're gone since he's so loud when he barks so that's the update on his separation anxiety if you guys know anything that helps please let me know we give him cbd oil we've been giving him that for the past month and that's not helping the collar doesn't help uh and he's just too old to train not to bark so that's the issue that he's already eight years old but that's the update from his separation anxiety and another thing we found found out about him was in the mornings he'll kind of army crawl around the apartment oh hello do you need something are you gonna pee in here yeah why do you always pee when i'm trying to you? film hi baby oh i probably got makeup all over you <coughs> where's daddy is he in the bathroom Um, so this is, let me, let me see if he'll let me. This is the collar we got. Um, unfortunately it does not work for him. We still keep it on though, so he learns. But, oh, oh, Diesel's legs, his hips. Um, so, babe, <laughs> his hips, we don't know what's wrong with them. He'll army crawl for like the first like 20 minutes when he wakes up some mornings he doesn't though yeah it i don't know what like I, we don't know what it is honestly we think it's his joints and he has pain in the mornings or his legs fall asleep but this morning he usually likes it when i massage his hips so i tried doing that but the second i touched his hip he screamed at me like it hurt and then he jumped off the bed and started walking and was crying while he was walking. So I don't know if it's getting worse or I don't know. But my coworker did <clears throat> offer to give me some, I don't even know what it's called, just like joint medications for dogs that she used to give to her dogs, but they don't need them anymore. So she's going to give me some of those to see if they help. Hopefully it does. But he's been, I feel like he's been acting weird lately. Yeah, for the past few days he's been kind of weird. Episode. 
on what was it Saturday night? Yeah. Yeah. Just having an absolute episode. We left him with his brother while we met up with my parents like an hour away. So we didn't want to leave him here alone for so long. So we took him to his brother's place. And then when we got back and brought him back, usually he would just knock out from not being around us for so long. Like he would finally get comfortable that he was with us and just fall asleep. And it was pretty, it wasn't that late when we got back. It was like... Ten. Oh, it was. I think it was ten. It was like ten. So we we were expecting him to knock out, but he wouldn't stop pacing around the room, and he wouldn't just sit down. And he fell asleep on the floor, which is really weird because he's always sleeping on the bed. He never falls asleep on the floor. Yeah. And he wasn't crying or anything. Um, we thought he had to go to the bathroom, so you took him out. Yeah, I took him out. But he, didn't. he, was, he did. He was still acting weird after that, and then eventually he fell asleep. But he fell asleep on the floor, mm -hmm. so we don't know what's going on with him. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Could be the cold. Yeah, the cold could be making his joints worse and his personality weird. Yeah, he has seasonal affective disorder. He might. <laughs> Think about doggy daycare for him, otherwise they're gonna make us get rid of him or they'll affect us. So, he can't be barking here when he's home alone, but it's a process to get him into the daycare. It's like enrolling your kid in school, and then it's, uh... Then it's, we have to take him in to see how he does in yeah, that like environment. Temperament, temperament test. So it really is like taking your kid to school and enrolling them. And then we have to go back to the vet to get some things done. That's why I don't want to do it because... The vet was really hard for Diesel. Yeah, the first time I went to the vet with Diesel it was... It was a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. He just couldn't sit still and he wasn't on his best behavior. Yeah, so he's alright though. Okay, so that last clip you saw was filmed like three days ago and we haven't... We didn't do anything the rest of the day, so... I didn't vlog, but it is now Friday. Just got home from work and I am irritated. Somehow, Diesel is literally getting on the counter and taking things off. I just came home and the pot is on the floor along with these that were in the sink. He's in his kennel that he also broke because he hates being in it when he's punished. But honestly, I don't understand. Those were in the sink. And then yesterday, this picture and that picture were knocked down and I had some baby potatoes over here and a bag of Doritos in this corner and he got them. And I'm just like so shocked. And I would keep him in his kennel, but we've tried that once and that's clearly how he broke it and he broke it even more when i was home and he was punished and i went to go lay down in the bedroom and he didn't like that i was in there without him that he broke his kennel even more so like he bent he bent that part this bottom part and now like the door is all messed up <sighs> Like, I don't know what to even do at this point. Okay, you're gonna hear him crying in the background, but just ignore it because he's the biggest crybaby I know. But since it is holiday season, sorry, my jacket is like zipped up. I would. Since it's holiday season, that means Starbucks got a lot of holiday stuffs, but I am gonna do Christmas shopping there. So I'm not gonna show the cups I get for people because they might watch this but i did get myself these okay anytime we come out with anything like this they sell out so quick but the perks of working there is when the order comes in you get first pick pretty much so i picked up these cold reusable cups and it comes with these straws i actually haven't seen these because i didn't work when we launched all of our holiday stuff so these were gone by the time I worked the next day. 
trying to open all the, it's sturdy. It comes with all these lids. They're just, there's a pink, blue, an orange looking one, red and green. And then this is what the cups look like. And these are the only types of cups I use for any drink here because our glass cups, I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but our glass cups smell weird when they're in the cupboard. So I don't like using it because it grosses me out and I don't want to drink water or anything. So I use these. They don't stink, which is nice, but this is what they look like. You can't even see the writing on this one. Focus. There we go. This one says magic cool, coffee all the way, cold as iced, merry coffee, and seasonal shine. So I got those, which I'm super excited about because obviously they're limited edition. So, and then it came with all these straws. And then I also got the hot cup version of them because I also use the hot cups for water. Is that weird? These I have not seen either. Um, so it comes with all white lids. Oh my God. Oh, these are such cute colors. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. There's this one that says hand warmer, which is so freaking true when I work in the drive-thru at Starbucks, I always use people's drinks as hand warmers because I'm at the window, so I'm like freezing. This one says coffee, coffee. This one says coffee all the way. This one says festive cup, festive cup, merry coffee, roasty and toasty. That's really cute. So, and the cool thing about Starbucks is they do partner shopping days, which is basically what it sounds like. I mean, you can always shop there, it doesn't matter, but during partner shopping days, I think it's a week where you get 40% off all the merchandise for partners. So I had to cop these and it ends in two days. So I have to go back tomorrow when I don't work and pick out some cups for some presents and get some coffee because we also get a free coffee mark out every week. And I never get them because I don't really drink coffee that much here, but I think I'm gonna start saving them up to use as presents. Sorry, I'm making plans with my friend to go to this like oyster bar tonight and I'm so excited. But I might also go to the gym with my other friend later because we're trying to be skinny. So yeah, I'm gonna probably take a nap because it's been the longest day and it's not even, it just turned noon. It's 12.05. So I'm gonna take a nap for like maybe an hour or two. Um, check to see if my friend even wants to go to the gym anymore. Cause we be like that sometimes. And I'll catch up with you guys later. It's been like, I don't know how many hours. I'm trying to look for my fucking shoes. Um, Maybe if I cleaned my room, I would find my shoes, right? Hee hee hee. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> It kind of smells like how you say ass. <laughs> Wanna go potty? I'll get back. Sit. Good boy. Wait. Okay. Is that on? Sure. Oh my god. This dude has to pit. Oh my god. <laughs> he seriously has to go to the bathroom. Didn't go to the gym. Nobody. Just cause, I don't know. Riley and I are gonna go to a oyster restaurant thingy mabob with my friend Tara and her boyfriend. I'm so out of it. <laughs> Need to get a haircut? Yeah, I actually give Riley a haircut. Are you gonna go to the bathroom or are you just gonna Let's sit there? Yeah. We're gonna have to drop off Diesel at his brother's place because, oh my gosh. Diesel, get... come here. <laughs> God damn. Because Diesel can't be trusted alone and he barks too much and we've gotten complaints, so. Wow, that wasn't even pointed at Bad me. Bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, it's currently 
5.40 and we have to leave at like 6 because we have to go drop Diesel off at Zach's place and then go. Okay, so I just showered. I blow dried my hair. And now, oh, I literally just cut Riley's hair and look at all the hair that's on top of this. All right, I gotta be careful of that because I don't want it all over my floor. I have to do a quick makeup look because we gotta leave and I still don't have an outfit picked out. Riley's gonna kill me. Okay, so I'm probably gonna speed through this because I honestly don't have time to like talk. I'm just gonna speed this through. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down. Before you came round, I was heading for a small disaster. Before you came round, I was ready to blow me down. <laughs> the finished makeup i really don't have time to do my eyeshadow even though i really want to but that honestly take me like another 10 minutes so i'm not gonna do it i'm i need to get dressed because it's 5 55 and we have to leave in pretty much five minutes so i'm gonna go get dressed and i'll be right back okay so we're in the car now I didn't have time to show my outfit. I'll show it later. But we have Diesel in the back. Where'd he go? There he is. And we're gonna go drop him <clears> off <throat> and then head to the restaurant. Riley with his new haircut that I didn't do that well on, but it's fine. I'm fucking with it. I forgot my phone, so we had to turn around. <laughs> Where even is my phone? Okay, while I'm here though, might as well show you my outfit really quick while Riley's waiting in the car. Okay, these shoes. We're from like a cheap website online. Excuse my room, by the way. High-waisted pants from American Eagle. This black bodysuit I think is from Forever 21. And then I think this jacket is, yeah, this jacket is North Face. to go for his birthday but I heard you want to go to a cabin for his birthday. Yeah, well that's what Andrea wants to do. We want to go to okay. but then my brother So we just yeah. got done with dinner and I vlogged a little bit on my phone. Oh, and you guys are looking for her minivan though. Um but we made it back to my car and now it won't start and we don't have jumper right, cables me... and neither does my friend yeah. Tara, so we had to call Riley's brother's friend to um help us cuz it just won't start at all. So. About the hood. so they came to meet us and they brought Diso back and he's crying because Riley's out there. There's literally three of them trying to figure out how to open her truck, her um, hood. <laughs> so they have to look it up because they don't know how to open a fucking hood, but it's fine. But I think I need a new battery because there's acid all over my battery. So that's kind of scary. Yay, just adult things. Okay, so we're finally back home now. It's, I don't even know how late it is. 10.30 on the dot. We finally got my car to turn on. Pretty sure I need a new battery, which love that. Oh my God, you know what I just noticed? My hand is right where the hair was. Okay, ew. I think that's where I'm gonna end today's vlog. No. No, I think I'll vlog tomorrow too because Riley's going to work all day and I'm not gonna have anything to do, so see you guys tomorrow. I'm out of water. <laughs> <coughs>
What do you want to do? Do you want Starbucks or what? No. Oh. It's the next morning. Really wants me to make breakfast, so I think I'll do that. to unlock my car it doesn't work so that tells me that my car's not gonna work so I'm gonna have to take Riley's car to go get some cups from Starbucks my car doesn't work it won't even unlock your car won't even unlock no what about with the I don't want to try it because anytime I do that the alarm goes off so I need a new battery I literally hate car troubles because they can get pretty freaking expensive so i don't know how much this battery is going to cost me but i have to go to walmart and find one of their batteries there and then have riley replace it for me but i don't know if that's even going to work because he doesn't even know how to use jumper cables when we had to last night so <laughs> wish me luck okay update we went to walmart they didn't have it so we called Jiffy Lube, they had it, but they install it and I'd have to get my car towed there and like, no, um, no. So then we called this one place that we're now at, what is it called? Batteries for everything? Pacific Power Batteries. No, I have diesel with me because we can't leave them home alone. Um, so we're here getting the battery. Batteries are not cheap. People. Like, yeah, the cost could be worse, not gonna lie. But it's like, ugh, the worst timing because I have to buy Christmas presents because we have like, we have like three more, two more paychecks till Christmas, which if you look at it that way, it's like stressing me out. <laughs> so, we're gonna take this battery and then we have to, Riley was trying to, um, dog, go. What are you doing trying to climb the fucking, Anyway, Riley was trying to take the battery out of my car so we can bring it here and switch them out because they charge a fee if you don't bring back the old battery. So we wanted it to be cheaper and it's cheaper if you bring back the old one. But he couldn't unscrew one of the bolts so he called and was like, hey, what if I don't have the battery for you guys at that moment when I get a new one? They're like, yeah, that fee is totally refundable. You can just bring back the battery later and refund you that. So that's what we're gonna do. He has to buy, I don't even know what he said it was called, some oil that loosens bolts and get my old battery out. And I feel so bad because it's almost 11 and he works at two. So it's like, we haven't eaten yet. We haven't had coffee. but I appreciate all the work he's doing for me because if I was alone and doing this, I would have had like three mental breakdowns by now. <laughs> okay, we finally put the new battery in and we're back at this battery place returning my old battery. Diesel still concerned that his father's gone, but when I was helping Riley put the battery in my car, we left Diesel in the car and he couldn't see us unless he turned around, but he wasn't even barking or anything, which was so weird. Like, I would come back into the car to check up on him and he was just sleeping. I'm like, why can't you do that at the apartment? Like, why can't you just sleep when no one's home? My dog is special. After this, we're gonna go to Starbucks and just get coffee. I'm not even gonna buy presents. Did I even tell you guys I was planning on buying gifts yeah i told you guys um we're kind of over it it's almost noon now 
So we haven't had coffee, we haven't had breakfast. It's been a rough morning. We're just gonna grab coffee and I'm gonna go home and make Riley breakfast because he helped me out a lot today. <sighs> Riley doesn't want me to cook him breakfast anymore so we're going to McDonald's instead. I can't wait to eat Charmin. So, no way fresh made. Gentle, Jesus. <laughs> lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. Good boy. Good boy. Hello guys, just checking in. I'm watching Now You See Me Too, that's what you hear in the back. But it's currently 1.36, tired, I wanna take a nap. Diesel is, I don't know, knocked out somewhere. Okay guys, I think that's pretty much it for today's vlog. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else the rest of the day unless I find the motivation to clean, but that probably won't happen. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I make some beauty videos sometimes, and I vlog, so if you like those things, subscribe. I have almost reached my goal for this year, which is 100 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that for me. And maybe I'll do like a fun video with Riley for 100 subscribers. So let me know what you guys want to see and we'll most likely do it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Deuce.